I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, in the grand tapestry of human endeavor, there exists a powerful thread that weaves its way through the stories of resilience, determination, and ultimate triumph. It is the unwavering spirit encapsulated in the phrase, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well. This declaration is not a mere expression, it is a mantra that resonates with the tenacity of those who choose to persist in the face of adversity, embracing the journey with a courage that transcends the allure of immediate success. At the heart of this mantra lies a profound commitment to the intrinsic value of the pursuit itself. It's a recognition that the essence of an endeavor extends beyond external validation, transcending the metrics of success defined by societal norms. I will still do it signifies an unwavering dedication to the act itself, fueled by an intrinsic passion that remains undeterred by the external outcomes. This mantra is a beacon that illuminates the path of dreamers, creators, and visionaries who dare to step into the arena of their ambitions. It's a declaration that encapsulates the essence of perseverance, urging individuals to weather the storms of doubt, setbacks, and uncertainties with an unyielding resolve. To say, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, is to embrace the journey as a transformative experience, where the very act of doing becomes a testament to the depth of one's commitment. Consider the artist who paints not for the applause of the audience but for the sheer joy of creation. Their strokes, a dance on the canvas, are an expression of an inner world that refuses to be silenced by external judgments. Whether or not the artwork receives acclaim, the artist persists, driven by an intrinsic need to translate the intangible into a tangible masterpiece. In the realm of entrepreneurship, this mantra becomes the anthem of those who embark on ventures not solely for the promise of financial success but for the fulfillment derived from building something meaningful. The entrepreneur who says, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, is not deterred by initial failures or market fluctuations. Instead, they see each setback as a lesson, a refining fire that tempers their vision and steals their determination to continue. The echo of this mantra reverberates in the corridors of innovation, where pioneers challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of what is deemed possible. The inventor who persists in the face of skepticism, iterating on ideas even when met with resistance, embodies the essence of this mantra. Their journey is propelled by a passion for discovery, an insatiable curiosity that propels them forward even when success seems elusive. I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, is a declaration of agency, an affirmation that one's actions are not contingent on external validations. It's an empowerment that springs from an internal locus of control, where the individual becomes the architect of their destiny, irrespective of the external forces that may attempt to sway them. This mindset unleashes a reservoir of creativity, resilience, and grit that propels individuals toward the extraordinary. In the landscape of personal development, this mantra becomes a guiding principle for those committed to continuous growth. The learner who persists in acquiring knowledge, honing skills, and evolving as an individual embodies the spirit of this declaration. Their pursuit is not tethered to the immediate recognition of their efforts but is an intrinsic quest for self-improvement and mastery. The mantra takes on a profound significance in the realm of relationships, both personal and professional. The individual who says, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, in the context of relationships understands the value of authenticity and commitment. It's a pledge to show up, invest in connections, and weather the inevitable challenges that interpersonal dynamics bring. The resilience embedded in this commitment forms the bedrock of enduring bonds and meaningful connections. Embedded in this mantra is a crucial perspective on failure, one that reframes setbacks not as final verdicts but as temporary waypoints in the journey. The acknowledgement that something may not do well initially is not a deterrent but a stepping stone to improvement. It's a mindset that fosters a positive relationship with failure, transforming it from a feared adversary to a trusted ally in the pursuit of growth and excellence. The journey encapsulated in this mantra is not a linear progression but a dynamic, ever-evolving exploration. It's a recognition that the path to success is often a meandering one, 
marked by detours, redirections, and unexpected discoveries. Each twist and turn becomes a part of the narrative, a chapter in the story of resilience, adaptability, and unwavering commitment. Consider the writer who pens their thoughts, pouring words onto pages not for the promise of bestseller lists but for the sheer joy of articulating their inner world. Whether their words find a vast readership or resonate with a select few, the act of writing becomes a profound act of self-expression, an endeavor fueled by passion rather than external metrics. Their pursuit is not tethered to the immediate recognition of their efforts but is an intrinsic quest for self-improvement and mastery. The mantra takes on a profound significance in the realm of relationships, both personal and professional. The individual who says, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, in the context of relationships understands the value of authenticity and commitment. It's a pledge to show up, invest in connections, and weather the inevitable challenges that interpersonal dynamics bring. The resilience embedded in this commitment forms the bedrock of enduring bonds and meaningful connections. Embedded in this mantra is a crucial perspective on failure, one that reframes setbacks not as final verdicts but as temporary waypoints in the journey. The acknowledgement that something may not do well initially is not a deterrent but a stepping stone to improvement. It's a mindset that fosters a positive relationship with failure, transforming it from a feared adversary to a trusted ally in the pursuit of growth and excellence. The journey encapsulated in this mantra is not a linear progression but a dynamic, ever-evolving exploration. It's a recognition that the path to success is often a meandering one, marked by detours, redirections, and unexpected discoveries. Each twist and turn becomes a part of the narrative, a chapter in the story of resilience, adaptability, and unwavering commitment. Consider the writer who pens their thoughts, pouring words onto pages not for the promise of bestseller lists but for the sheer joy of articulating their inner world. Whether their words find a vast readership or resonate with a select few, the act of writing becomes a profound act of self-expression, an endeavor fueled by passion rather than external metrics. In the realm of personal goals, the individual who commits to a fitness journey not for the approval of others but for the well-being and vitality it brings embodies the essence of this mantra. They lace up their shoes and hit the pavement, whether or not their fitness milestones make headlines. The intrinsic value of feeling healthy and alive propels them forward. This mantra is not an invitation to blindly persist in endeavors that are detrimental or unfulfilling. It is a call to align actions with passion, purpose, and authenticity. The discerning individual who says, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, possesses the wisdom to evaluate their journey, recalibrate when necessary, and persevere with an enlightened understanding of their goals. In the realm of education, the student who engages in learning for the love of knowledge, not merely for grades or accolades, embodies the spirit of this mantra. Their pursuit is driven by a curiosity that transcends the confines of traditional measures of success. The joy of discovery becomes its own reward, fostering a lifelong commitment to learning. At its core, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, is an anthem of authenticity. It is a pledge to remain true to one's vision, values, and passions, even when external circumstances may not align with immediate success. It is a celebration of the intrinsic value embedded in the act of doing, the sheer joy, growth, and self-discovery that accompany the journey itself. This mantra becomes a guiding philosophy for those who understand that the pursuit of greatness is not a destination but a continuous evolution. It's an ethos that transcends the transient nature of external validations, placing the focus on the enduring qualities of resilience, passion, and commitment that shape the journey. Consider the musician who creates melodies not for chart-topping recognition but for the sheer love of crafting music. Their notes become an expression of the soul, resonating with authenticity and a commitment to the art form. Whether or not their compositions grace the top of the charts, the act of creating music remains a sacred endeavor. In the vast canvas of professional pursuits, the individual who says, 
I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, embraces the entrepreneurial spirit with a profound understanding. The business visionary who persists in refining their products, iterating on ideas, and adapting to market changes embodies the essence of this declaration. Their focus extends beyond immediate gains to the enduring legacy they are building. The significance of this mantra becomes magnified in the context of societal expectations and external pressures. In a world that often measures success by external benchmarks, the individual who adheres to this mantra is a beacon of authenticity. It's a stand against the societal noise that may clamor for conformity and immediate success, a declaration that the journey is as significant as the destination. Consider the social advocate who champions a cause not for the applause of the masses but for the intrinsic value of creating positive change. Their advocacy becomes a testament to the power of individual agency and a commitment to a cause that transcends the ebb and flow of popular opinion. The impact they create is a testament to the enduring nature of their commitment. In the pursuit of artistic expression, the performer who takes the stage not for the roars of the crowd but for the love of the craft embodies the spirit of this mantra. Their performance becomes an authentic dialogue between the artist and their passion, a celebration of the art form that transcends external judgments. The applause, while appreciated, becomes secondary to the joy of expression. I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, is an anthem of authenticity, a pledge to honor one's truth even when the world may not immediately recognize it. It's a commitment to the journey, a celebration of the process, and an acknowledgement that the pursuit of passion, purpose, and authenticity is a reward in itself. In the grand symphony of life, this mantra becomes a resounding melody that harmonizes with the rhythms of passion, resilience, and self-discovery. It is not a declaration of obstinacy but a testament to the enduring nature of the human spirit. It is an invitation to dance with life's uncertainties, navigate the ebbs and flows, and find fulfillment in the very act of doing, irrespective of external accolades. So, to those who dare to declare, I will still do it even when it doesn't do well, may your journey be adorned with the richness of authenticity, the depth of resilience, and the unwavering commitment to the pursuit that sets your soul on fire. In the tapestry of your endeavors, may the threads of passion, purpose, and authenticity weave a narrative that transcends the transient nature of external measures, creating a legacy that resounds through time as a celebration of the indomitable human spirit. This therefore guides us into seeing and bringing out our positive drive and energy towards achieving our goals in life. Nothing should deter our vision and missions in this life. Even when it seems impossible, do it anyway.